Welcome or welcome back to my channel, everyone. So I was surfing on Pinterest and I seen these cute wall mounted lighting fixtures. But once I seen the price, I said, oh no, I might as well make these myself, which they also come in the color white and gold. But today we are gonna make the colors in black and white. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. I'm using Dollar Tree's good old wood blocks and I place my wood blocks in this bowl just so they don't be all over the place. All I'm doing is gluing eight wood blocks together and if you are going to recreate these projects then I suggest using a stronger adhesive and I don't know if you guys can see this or not but these glue bubbles got to go but they come right off so I'm just going to peel them off before proceeding. So I'm just continuing to build my light fixture and if you are following along, you should have something that looks like this. Now I'm putting together the bottom slash right part of the wall sconce. So now that the bottom and the top part is completed, I'm just going to sit these to the side and work on the center pieces. This is one of the blocks that will go in the center and this is the other block that will go in the center as well. So now that I have all my pieces, I'm just putting everything together before I add those final two wood blocks. This part is a little wobbly, so that's why I'm adding those last two final wood blocks. I'm not completely gluing these together since it would be a little challenging for me to paint certain areas, but stay tuned, painting coming up next. These are all the pieces for both of my wall sconces and I'll be painting the left side white and the right side black and I'm using my black and white acrylic paint that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but the white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree does not take very well on these wood blocks. So I'm gonna go over it with my Deco Art acrylic paint that I purchased from Michaels. For this next step, I'm gluing the bottom and the top piece together. Next, I'm gluing the white piece down. You should have something that looks like this and I had to use three more of these wood blocks so the top piece can be leveled. For this part, I'm just making sure the white piece is exactly where I need it to be before gluing it down. Now I'm gluing on the very last piece and once again, if you are going to recreate these projects, then I suggest you use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. Mm -hmm. 
I can still see the brown coloring through the cracks on my wood blocks, but I'm gonna give it another coat of acrylic paint off camera. So for this last and final step, I'm using these LED string lights and you wanna make sure that the battery pack side is facing upwards so you can be able to change out your batteries. Once you put the glue down, be sure to hold your string lights in place until the glue dries. You also want to be sure that your lights are facing upwards. I like how these turned out and if you are going to recreate these, then you can just simply make a rectangle instead of doing it the way I did it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This next project was inspired by these outdoor light fixtures from HomeDepot.com. Now, initially, I was going to make my projects just as these are in the picture, but then ended up later changing my mind to make them white and also at Merit's house. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. All I'm doing is laying my blocks out before gluing them together and I'm placing six blocks going across and six blocks going down. This is what I have so far and I'm going to sit this to the side and work on the other piece. So this smaller piece here will be the piece that's going to be mounted on the wall. So I glued three blocks going across and five going down and I'm using that same white acrylic paint to paint these off camera and then I will be right back. So y'all already seen me create this piece and also this piece, but I had to glue and paint eight more wood blocks together for the middle piece. For this next step, I'm going to cover the whole front with these mirror towels. I glued these foam boards down so it can be easier for me to hang these on the wall. For this last step, I'm going to add these four LED self-adhesive push lights. I'm loving how the white pairs with the mirror tiles. I think I did a pretty good job on these. I did make a similar set of wall sconces a while back. If you are interested, I'll put the link down in the description box. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.